I am going to show you how to complete this activity on the Pythagorean Theorem. You can see that the first problem is A equals 13, B equals 11, and C equals question mark. That means that I do not know my C and I need to solve for C. In order to solve for C, I am going to use the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem states A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So in order to solve for C, I am going to go to page 3 and I am going to type in problem number 1 right here and I am going to solve for C. So if I need to go back, I can see again A is 13, B is 11. So I am going to type A equals 13, B equals 11. All of these red question marks mean that you can type your answer in there. Okay, now I'm going to bring down 13 because this is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 13 times 13 is 169. 11 times 11 is 121. Now what I need to do is add these. I can use my calculator. Let me clear that, and I can do 169 plus 121 equals 290. So C squared equals 290. I know that I need to take the square root of both sides so that I can get C by itself. So the square root of C squared is just C equals square root of 290. Now I need to round answers to nearest tenths. So I'm going to go back to my calculator. I'm going to take the square root of 290 and I get 17.0 because again I'm rounding to the nearest tenths. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to type 17.0. Now I look at my answer, 17.0. I go back to the domino pieces and I look for 17.0. Now, I see 17.0 on domino G. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it over to the second spot right here. Now, I'm going to repeat what I just did, but with this problem where I'm given A equals 5, B equals my unknown, and C equals 12. I will go back to page 3 and I will solve it on problem number 2. Now you can see that this problem is solved just slightly different because my unknown is B. For problem number one, my unknown was my hypotenuse. But if a leg is unknown, then that's just slightly a little different. But again, just follow the red question marks and uh, type in your uh, numbers, okay? You're going to do the same for problems one through seven on this page and then numbers eight through 14. Once you answer problem number 14, you're going to take this answer and you're going to go back and you're going to type it right here where it says, what is the answer to the last domino? All right, that's pretty much it. But I do want to tell you page 5 has some extra domino pieces. Just in case you on accident delete a domino piece, you can highlight, right click, and hit copy go to the page that you need it. So for example, if this one was deleted on accident, I can now right click and paste and I have that domino piece. Okay, please go ahead and complete the rest of the activity.